Good afternoon, traders, and welcome to AwesomeCallsTrading.com. I want to just welcome everyone to the room, and got a lot of new subscribers coming in and some old faces coming back uh, to the room, which is really nice and uh, really exciting in here. A couple trades that we did in the room. Uh, I just got back from break a little while ago. Uh, I traded uh, Netflix off the bottom live, and we're currently uh, dark site alerted up at 149.80. Um, some Facebook negative news. They're going to have potentially have the biggest fine. And so far, we've caught in about 50 cents to 80 cents on that alert. There are a lot of people in the room currently shorting the stock. Uh, Darkside's already put out the word that he thinks it can go down to 146. So people are just walking it down. Some consolidation here. Um, Tesla, I told everyone in the room, uh, originally the short was to 310. But Jenny has been shorting it all morning and guiding traders all the way down towards this 305 area and under. Uh, my idea was to get to 300. I felt there would be support at 300 and shorts would cover and they'll probably hold it there. And uh, so I did bounce it. My fill, if you really want to see it, um, I took a fill at 300. I'll give you the exact number so you can look at the tape if you want to. Um, order status. I filled... Uh, 300.0099 and sold at 301.15 on the bounce. And you can see the stock went to 302.20. So it would have been a nice two point bounce if I would have stayed in it. But um, anyway, that was a good, that was a fun trade. Um, let me see what else is going on. Uh, we had some really beautiful plays today. Um, so let's just start. Um, this is our pre market list. So I will show it to you. And and I'll give it to you right here. Kind of explain a few. Anyway, we had Jivo. Now, Jivo to me, I made it very clear, will just be a pop and fade and nothing more. And don't make it a stock long. I was hoping for a quick push through five at the open, but the lower low set in, uh, the stock would fade off out on the news and just give it all back. And that's how Jivo runs. Uh, there was SIG, NLS, PRGS, SLB, VFC, Goose. AXP, Team, Netflix, Tesla, um, APTX, and PCG in the sixes. Okay, so uh, let's start with our number. Uh, let's well, let's go to Tesla, our number ten pick. Um, where is it? Oh, right here. Notable. Um, they're cutting jobs for profits, gapping down twenty five. I would like to see the stock sell off to three ten area and under. If it pops at all at the open towards three thirty. Um, any pop at the open should be a short and look for 310 and under. And in pre-market, Janney was already shorting the stock. Um, he was already on the mic. And uh, as you can see in pre-market, I was trying to get to 330 again. And as you can see, the stock, when the market opened here at uh, 630, the stock only went to 327.50. I was trying to get this 330 area to get better uh, um, entry. Uh, but once the lower lows set in right here, you can tell it, the, start, the short was on. And uh, now it was unfortunate that TD would not uh, short. It would, and TD had massive problems this morning too um, on their platform. But it wouldn't short. It just it um, I couldn't. I, I was just going to do 250 shares and just kind of put stops in place and just let it slide. Um, normally on something like this, I probably would catch four to five points, and that's about it. Maybe three. But I don't think I get the whole meat of the move. But it would have been really nice to get something. Uh, but TD just didn't have shorts. They just uh, really crappy prop form sometimes. Uh, Jenny did, and if a lot of people in the room did. Stayed with it, and Jenny guided them to 305 and under. And again, I bounced it at 300, and it got a two point push. And if it falls below again, uh, 298, 297, which should be supports, and we could bounce it again in the room. I will probably overnight over the weekend. Uh, to uh, the uh, uh, 297 to 298. I, that's pretty much what I, I'll probably do that. And then in Monday, I look for it to gap up a little bit and about three to four points or more. Okay. Uh, the next one that I have on tap to, just a little side note, Myrna, I've been swinging this for a while. I did sell this morning a position at 1675 and I rebought. And my average now is 1647 on a swing account. So I just uh, want you to be aware of that. $16.47. And I will add on weakness. 
and uh, currently I have about a thousand shares, but I'll keep continue to add on that. It's done very well for me. This is the fifth time I'm playing Myrna, and uh, hasn't done me wrong since. So, and I've won each time. All right, the next trade that we have on our books is called a Jibo. Um, now, as you can see from Jibo, uh, Jibo was uh, uh, gapping up uh, on some fuel. They always have the same PR whenever they gap up. It's always about fuel, 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 fuel. And uh, so today was just no different. And um, But it had decent volume in the morning, so I was kind of hoping for a nice pop to... And I was writing my pre-market notes. The stock was starting to move, and I was looking for five, so it started getting up there. Um, started taking off and breaking through the flag. But, you know, at the bottom line, it was a short, and it was going to gap fill right back down. And they always do offerings. I mean, it's a standard uh, pump and dump, uh, Jivo does. And uh, and it just it, it just turned out beautiful. And it just came all the way down. Just a great, great short, small cap. Again, I deliver every day. Uh, there are a lot of rooms playing the BPTH. Um, they did a, a 21 split, I believe. Um, and uh, hold on. Uh, B. Yeah, there it is. They did a split. And as soon as they did the split, they off, did an offering and right there and just clobbered the stock. So kind of just a massive pop and dump. So <sighs> just crazy on that one. I mean, to come out. Give it the news, and then the offering 20 minutes later is just ridiculous. Anyway, Jivo turned out to be a really nice play in the room, so I like that one. Now I'm going to show you some really, really fun, 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 fun ones. Um, I'm going to show you Team. Team was a big winner in the room. Now Team, um, if you're you know been trading for a while, you'll see you could pull up the 180 chart, and you could see that this stock was bought up over the last 60, 90 days into the earnings. There was going to be some massive profit taking going on, and also on one of our scanners, uh, they mentioned there was a ton of put buying uh, on it, two to one. So um, actually, it was I believe yesterday, didn't I say it was four to one, double the amount of puts. So um, what that tells us, either that they're they're going to miss, or there's going to be a massive sell off, and. The puts were right on point. I think they're buying a bunch of uh, 90 January uh, puts on this. And we made notice of that yesterday. And then today, uh, based on the earnings, the stock popped. So what I did is um, I saw it uh, pop to 103 after hours. So And then this morning, kind of just gapped down a little bit off of that in the 100 range. So I went ahead and told everyone, start leaning to it short at 100. And then add on any pop to 102. I didn't think it'd get up to 103, but if it did, just don't be afraid of it. Just add right into it, and just look for a massive sell-off dump, and at least gap fill it uh, to the 90 area. So this was a, just a huge win in the room. Uh, very impressive trading, and I was really impressed with the way we called this. And not just me, but uh, you know, a couple seasoned guys in here like PSK, Lee Palmer, Fire. Uh, Brand Norman, all these guys just—they just—they knew what they were doing on this stock. It's, um, especially being in a, an environment like this, um, it's—it's you know, it's a, it's a big win for us, and very proud of this stock. Congratulations to us! And there was a lot of winners. And today, I was just—I—I I can't say enough. It's you know, as an owner of a room, you know, when people pat you on the back or say thank you, I'm always grateful. But today. Um, I just want you to see my Twitter feed. It was just, um, it was just overwhelming. The responses today from people. I mean, there's screenshots, people coming back in the room, um, just beautiful, beautiful things being said. Uh, Chris Money, uh, Jeremy, Alex, Strong, Zamzan, Noel, and just constant flow of people just talking about their trades and how much money they made. Like Purdue. Uh, is Matt made 1200 I mean this is this is why we run a room this is why we get up this is why we spend hours every day to see the rewards of people benefiting from uh, good good quality calls but not just good quality calls just good leadership you know and and that positive energy that you need when you're trading stocks you know and and to see Ismet pull this off and make twelve hundred dollars I mean it's it's and, and Noel and uh, I mean, look at Mike Purdue. I mean, this is just a perfect example why we run a room. Broke even on my trades today. I missed the open due to my other job, 
Uh, my little account has already be uh, be my month goals. In two weeks, he made one thousand three hundred seventy one dollars and eighty seven cents. I mean, not. I mean, come on, really. <laughs> And one thing about our room is that we're extremely transparent. There's no paper trading, you know, going on. People are, and we pay our bills in this room. This is why we exist, uh, to pay our bills. And those that are practicing, um, you know, we help them through. They paper trade, and then when they're ready to step up, they they kill it. And just just really, really, really great, great teamwork in here. Anyway, uh, the next trade that we want to talk about was team. So we did that one. So team. Givo, TSLI. Okay. The next one was Goose. Now, Goose to me uh, was really nothing more. And just so you could see, Tesla's got that $300 support. You see how they're supporting it on Tesla? See, that's your bottom. See how the support level? They're really holding that. I don't think it'll break that. I think it'll probably end up closing around 305 to 30, maybe even up to 307.50 to close. So. Anyway, I wish I could go back and get my 300 back, but you know what? I'm doing the webinar right now, but people are still trading in the room, so. Um, so we go back over here. Yeah, all right. Um, what was the next one? Oh, Goose. Now, Goose was gapping up um, because there was a Seeking Alka article, and everyone was chattering that the stock is just really undervalued. It should be bought up. Uh, traders Tesla, keep an eye on it. Uh, the next stop is 303. It's really moving. It's 302.80 now, and it looks like it'll pop. I think 305 is in the cards. It's 303.87 now, 302.87. Uh, so if you're playing it, you probably can run it all the way to 304, 305. Just be careful on your size, though. Okay. All right. So um, Goose was gapping up because of all this positive uh, energy out there. But you know, you got to fill a gap first. And um, I made it clear. Um, let it pop to 52 at the open and give it room to 53. And if it does, uh, short it and gap fill it to $50 and under. I think it'll go to 50, 10 and under and go long. And you can bounce it for a point. Now, I just want you to look at something on this call. All right. Your chat room that you're in will not trade this at all. It's They will not trade this kind of stock. It's not what they do. Uh, they don't understand it. Uh, Tesla's 303.11, traders. 303.11, it is moving. Matter of fact, I might want to chase some with you guys. It's getting too exciting just doing this webinar and watching it. So, yeah, 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 it's moving. Let me see here. It's 302, popped here. All right. Uh, it looks like... Uh, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, it froze for a moment. We've been having platform issues at TD. And you can see it's kind of freezing a little bit. Man, I hate to chase it. I do, I do. On this flag breakout, though, it's nice. I see 304 on it. Oh, gosh. It's so hard. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. Um, let's see. Bye. Uh, Ooh, 303, it's coming down now. Gosh, I want it, I want it. Okay, well, if you hear me take the trade, then you'll hear the, because that's my signal. But um, it's coming down right now, so I want to watch it. But boy, that was beautiful. What a pop. Um, anyway, Goose. So what I was getting at was the ability to um, look at a trade uh, Wed Bush is the Tesla defense uh, target 440, so they're defending it. Is that that's what you're telling me? Okay, um, you know, then what I'm going to do? I'm just going to buy. That just come out. Hold on, Didi. Let me look. Tesla. Tesla outperform rating target 44 expects car maker to emerge stronger after Tesla said it's plan to reduce its work while head headwinds are rebound on a number of different fronts. We continue to believe Tesla will be able to emerge from the next 12 to 18 months stronger, profitable, more productive, diversified. Okay, so yes, but that's 12 to 18 months. I have to trade it today. Um, um
You know what? They're defending the 300, Dee. I think that's what they're doing. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to I'm going to pass. I'm not going to play it right now. But if that gets close to that 300, I will take an overnight. Okay. Uh, you know, because Wet Bush to me is a tier two, tier three firm anyway. But if it comes to this 301 to 300 and they support it again, I'll bounce it there. But if you guys still want to play it overnight there, just have room to 300 to add. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, I have uh, a great room in here. We all talk to each other. So, anyway, um, I just want you to see this trade. All right, this is really true professional day trading at its best. And um, you know what? Screw it. I can't do it anymore. I'm just going to buy it. Because I really think uh, 305 is in the cards. So, all right. All right, so, and then I'll put my sell ready in case it pops a point. If it does, I'll sell it. Okay, I'm just going to hold it there. Okay. Um, so what I want to do is just keep an eye on it here. All right, so the next trade was Goose. So basically what we wanted to do was um, we wanted to pop it open to 52. And then we just wanted to simply gap fill it to where it closed. But I wanted $50 to be the support area. And then we were going to bounce it off the 50. So um, that's not holding, Didi. It's not holding. So I might dump it, but my Myrna is flying. So I'm going to give it one more second, Didi. Let's see if it pops. If it doesn't, I'll get rid of it because my Myrna is making me bank. So, 302.06, 302.16, okay. As long as I can keep above that 302, I think I'll be okay. Yeah, I'm almost in the money. Yeah, I'm almost in the money. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the money now. At 73, 74, pop a little bit more. 674, go, go. 84, 99, Tesla. See it? This is what I'm playing right here. I'm going to take that. I'll take that right now. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, 30241, sold 302865. Thank you, Didi. Live trade. And this is my Myrna I'm playing. See it? I own uh, quite a bit here. And I gave this to the room at $16.45. Stock is running now. $16.75. And pushing. Solid green on the trade on Myrna. So it'd be nice if it gets to $16.90. I'll be really happy. Yeah, good trade. And Tesla's going to probably break through and hit the uh, DD. Probably go right through uh, the 303 again, and then you'll have that. Okay. But I nailed it, so I'm, I'm good right now. Okay. Thank you, Didi. Um, so that was Goose. And again, 52 pop at the open, gap fill to 5010. Uh, here's $50.10 right there. And then I said you get one point to the upside. There's 5110, and voila. One point to the upside. Oh, Tesla's moving again. I want that. Oh, it's going to go through 303. Uh, excuse me, hold on. Come on, baby. Come on. Baby. It's going to do a market order. I feel like it's getting ready. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. Watching it. This is what I do, traders. I am a day trader. I, I see a scalp, I go for it. I load up 350, 400 shares, 300, doesn't matter to me. I just wait for it. I see that popping. I nail it into the pop. And uh, this is what I love. This is what I live for. See that? It's a nice buy there. 80 spot. It pops through the 30340. Yeah, yep, 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 76. Hold on. 
Let me confirm it. Let me confirm it. Okay. Okay. Kind of hanging. Kind of hanging. Kind of hanging. Eighty ones, ninety fours. That's a flag. 80 again, 70 again. Come on, baby. What do I want to do here? I want to take it. Okay, take it. I'm going to sell it. Okay, on that pop. See it? See how it just popped? 303.45. Sell some here. Okay, I'm going to sell some more. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I didn't get that second pop there. Hold on, hold on. There we go, there we go. I'll get it now. There we go. I'm going to sell it right here. Okay, cool. Wow. All right, take a deep breath. Okay, I bought at uh, 302.822, uh, and I sold 303.32 and 303.1847, okay? And now it's 303.70. Damn. Damn it. <laughs> uh, what I look for, uh, this is like, this is what I do, though. I mean, I'm live trading. I'm letting everyone know what I'm doing. You hear me um, execute the trade. I snapshot the trades. And look at it now. If I had stayed in here, look at this. Look at that. And why? Because I saw the flag right here. I saw it breaking out, and I was, you know, I was willing to risk the 30 So 40 cents for. Look at this. And now the stock is moving to the 305 area that we spoke about because of the $300 support. And it should close right around here. So especially with that wet bush. Look at it, just it just keeps flying. Wow. I should have stayed. It's okay. Hopefully the room is staying in it. It's three oh four now. Oh my gosh. Ouch, that was a lot of money. I sold too soon. Hey. A win is a win is a win, right? Okay. All right, let's do another trade. <laughs> All right, Tesla, Jivo, Team, Goose. Uh, let me do another one here. Um, the other one was uh, American Express. Oh my goodness, Didi. Uh, Edwin, I said 305 when it hit 300. I said that like five times. 305, 305. Yeah. There it is. Darn it. Man, did I sell too soon, Didi. Oh. Anyway, if you were in the room and I wasn't doing this webinar, Oh, hell yeah, I would have stayed another point. Damn. But this is a live trade. So if you got in at 302, see how we make three points in here? Because I can see it. And I use these one-minute candles. So in your room, you're trading 10, 15 cents, right? I'm trading dollars, right? Dollars. That's the difference between your room and my room, okay? You're, you're, you're trading six cents, and I'm trading dollars, all right? Massive dollars. And so it's really easy when somebody does 100 shares, 200 shares on a stock like this to get two points and make 400 bucks or $200, and they're done for the day. And now it's 305. There it is, 305. Didi, right on point. Now, I have a new trader that just walked in the room. Remember, Alex? Where are you? Alan, if you had bought in the 303, on your first trade, and I told you it would go to 305, there it goes, boss. Five points. Your first trade in the room. Crazy, huh? 
Okay, uh, the next trade we did was American Express. And this trade, um, okay, one thing that you have to know about American Express is it gets bought up on weakness. Um, you bought 300, still holding? All right, Alan, make sure that you tweet that today. Um, and just say it's my first trade, came in, monthly subscriber, boom, you already paid for your monthly. If you bought 300 shares at 300 and you're still holding, Oh my goodness, you're up fifteen hundred bucks. I would have sold at three oh five boss. I wouldn't be holding it. Or at least sell half. Um AXP. AXP was um like our C uh Ripster. I got Tesla calls next week, expiring hold till next week. I don't know, boss, you just got five points. Um but yeah, you can at least cover take half. Uh when is in it at three oh one? Yeah, at least take half and then I think the stock has room to three ten. Okay. I think you can get to 310 right here and then dump it. 307 and 310. But remember now, I've already walked you to five. So um, I might want to scalp it again because they're, they're just buying this up right now. There's no sellers in the stock. It's just pure buying and short covering. There's no sellers. I just got another 42 off of Tesla with 19 shares. Good job, Vanilla. 19 shares is all he's trading. He still made money. You see that? I might want to take this right now. Hold on. See that flag? Hold on. Excuse me. See that flag right there? Man, I should have just stayed in when I got it at 302, huh? This is crazy. All right. I'm going to watch it in the corner of my eye while I'm finishing the webinar. And then I'll, you'll hear me go off on it. Anyway, here comes America Express. So this one... Um, most banks are getting bought up on weakness. American Express is in that same category. And this was just a big win in the room. A lot of people don't know this, uh, but American Express is like CS, our CSX, CSX call yesterday, and it simply gets bought up on weakness. And um, so that's what's going on here. Let me try to get some here. Let me see if I can pop it here. Moving, moving. Come on, baby. Pop up there. Good, good, good. 303, 305, 305, 49. Good. 73. I'll sell that on that pop right there. I got uh, 300 shares. I just did. All right. Sold 305.726, bought at 305.55. Okay, and I just sold at 305.726. So I'm just scalping this Tesla right here. See it? Because again, I saw the flag break out here, so I filled here and I sold up a hair at the top right there. I do market orders. So I'm just scalping this, taking what I can because I can see it moving towards that 306 area. A lot of work. Okay, uh, let's just keep going. Let's go back to America Express. Okay, so um, so we uh, the 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 list was to go long on America Express. Uh, go long at uh, 95 area. Um, if it opens, it pulls to 95. Go long. I see the stock simply going right back up to 99 or 100. This is our CXX call from yesterday. Please just go long the stock. If it dips to 95, add on it, and you're all set. Tesla just biked through 306.07. Wow. I sold too early again. All right. So um, see how Tesla just broke through? So if you were in our room and you didn't need to do a webinar, look what you just did. You see it? And you got long when I did. When you heard it click, you bought 50 shares. You just made $100. See it just fly? Now, there are people in our room making a just a ton of money right now buying those calls look at that 307 now 30714 live holy crap did i leave a ton on the table can i have my 305 51s back please i mean my goodness sheepers oh oh okay so there's that one uh american express 
Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. That's it. That's all I've done. Jesus, I keep you know. I feel like I've been talking forever. Um, I'll give you a quick one. Sig. Uh, Sig got a downgrade from City. Um, Alan Q. He's going to be tweeting. I uh, just sold at three oh seven, and he bought at three hundred with three hundred shares. That's a two thousand dollar trade. I don't know how much he kept of it, but that's over two thousand dollars. He just joined the room today. So, and Alan, are you a monthly? If not, you are now, right? So, you're a monthly? Yeah, he just signed up today, his first trade. So, all right, round of applause, everyone in the room. Mods, first day in the room, $2,100. Okay. Sig, uh, we did this. This was a two-second trade in the morning. This was basically a gap down. Um and City has a $20 price target and a big big sell rating on it. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to uh, we wanted to pop the stock at the open. Uh, anything over 25, we wanted to scale in short, and we just like took size and we just dropped it. We wanted more to the downside, but it just it didn't budge. So most of us gave ample time to cover around the 2450 range, and so we a lot of us cut uh, myself. I got in even a little late here, and I was still able to make about over 50 cents of profit on that with size. It was a really, really good play there. I love that, Skechers. It was just a, like a 10-second opening bell play. And last but not least, I think I can give you PRGS, uh, and I can call it a day. PRGS was... Um, should push at the open. Yes, PRGS um, had really... Um, they, they had an earnings miss, but because I've been trading PRGS for years, they tend to pop at the open. Uh, so I told everyone to start going long in pre-market at 32.60. And then if it dropped into 31 range, please add, and the stock should go to 34 and top off. Okay? So, um, again, long 32, add at 31 area top off at 34 if it hits 30 buy even more the stock will rebound at least uh two points to the upside so don't panic so i even told him take a few long at 32.60 and room to add okay so and here we go and prgs prgs and ding 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 3260 long pre-market right there. There's your pre-market long. And I said the stock would run all the way to 34. And it hit 34.98. Came all the way back down. That's how you trade. So if you took 100 shares long at the open, you would have made 250 bucks. And if you shorted off the 34 round, you would have at least scored a point to the downside. Double bottomed found base and just stayed up the rest of the day okay and that's it so i'm sorry it took so long this is probably one of our longer webinars but you know when you're live trading you know this is what we do actually it's only 33 minutes so not too bad anyway thank you for joining us i hope to see you on monday i hope you kind of get a sense of how we trade in here um we do have our setups in morning place everything is written down pre-market notes we spend hours and hours researching good plays with news behind them Anything with decent gap ups, uh, range, stocks we can play all day, what to look for, where to buy, entries and exits, and always the reason why. And then as you can see, we do the scalp trades where a stock is selling off like a Tesla, and we get in there and we just bounce it. And uh, I did make it clear that 300 was a great support level for Tesla and with room to 297. So it turned out to be a winner in the room, and you just witnessed about seven points being traded in the room live. And uh, I just wish I could go back and get my 305. <laughs> just sell that 307. But, hey, I did it all live. So what are you going to say? Take care. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, we are off on Monday. So look forward to joining us. All you do is go any of our links. Click here. 25 for a day. Uh, one, uh, 100 for a week. And if you sign up for a month, we give you back that money. And you are all done. Set up. Come and trade us. Tuesday morning. We'll kill it. All right. Take care. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.